So the, the distracted driving simulator, um, it's nothing but a golf cart. We have a radio in it. Um, we encourage the students to play loud music, to use their personal cell phone devices to um, try to distract them while driving the golf court through a course we set up. Uh, it's supposed to simulate someone driving distracted out on the highways of the Commonwealth. Um, this is to show them the dangers of driving while being distracted, um, which we don't want students doing this when they get their license and going out in the highways. Right now, we, are, we was instructed to, you know, uh, film this criminal justice class as they, you know, take on the task of driving through these cones with their friends or peers all behind them, distracting them, playing music. As people do tend to do, they like to be backseat drivers on the main road. So, you know, this was a warm up for them. The golf cart itself was hard to drive. But one thing I did learn was with your phone or music on, it is hard to drive and you have to have like two hands on your steering wheel. You can't just do one-handed Vin Diesel type stuff. I get a lot of people pull, um, make traffic stops on people using their cell phones and they're saying it's work-related. Well, they don't understand the dangers that come behind that by using that cell phone and being distracted. I think it's a good idea because it shows you how truly distracting driving and looking at your phone is and really not paying attention to the road could be a dangerous thing, especially when you see people knocking over cones and it could not be a cone, it could be a person or a dog or a cat or really anything. So it just takes a second. You look at your phone, you, you're reading a text message, next thing you know, you're drifting off to the right and you just sideswipe the car beside you. Or you're driving, it's raining out, and you got a movie playing on your phone, you're going too fast for the road conditions, you hydroplane and run off the road and hit a tree. It's unfortunately that that, that happens, but it all could have been prevented by not distracting drivers.